Futures trading is risky and can result in substantial financial loss. Good evening traders and welcome to another edition of Short Term Trading with Oscar Live. Well, we're going to talk about trading for 12-19-06 tomorrow, trade date 12-19-06, that's Tuesday. Um, yesterday we talked about buying silver for today's trading. In the day we said that we would look to buy silver anywhere around 12.65, 12.67. We had orders in to buy 12.65s. We got filled at 12.63 and marked silver. SIH7. Filled at 12.63. The market came lower again. We gave another buy recommendation at 12.45 or 12.50, somewhere in that zone. I gave you a buffer zone yesterday. Well, that got hit too. We got filled at 12.46.5. That gave us one unit at 12.63 and one unit at 12.46.5. We're average long at 12.54.80 at the moment. Uh, last trade was 12.71.5. That puts you up about $1,300 if you're a one lot trader on the recommendation in silver for yesterday. If you're faint of heart and you're not looking to hold this trade until January, middle of January, first, second week of Jan, then you should probably liquidate your March silvers at 12.72. You can place your orders now in the overnight. ZIH7 uh, would be the overnight electronic silver you can get out there. Uh, you can get out tomorrow when the market's open, 1272. If you want to hold it, hold it. Look for a 14 or higher, probably right in the beginning of January. The gold we expected a high yesterday. We recommended for this morning's trading to sell gold at 623. The high was only 621.90. We missed it by a buck ten. What are you going to do? It did break down all the way to 6.15 today. Uh, we were expecting 6.11, so that trade would have worked, couldn't get in. Would have trades ever put money in my account, it's probably not going to put any in yours either, so we'll forget that. In any event, the gold still is bullish long term. We're looking for it to go down short term, and then we'd get long again. 300, uh, the 600 level would be fantastic buying gold, as I mentioned last time. Now this takes us to the S&P. We talked about the S&P putting in a new high. And then dropping and settling unchanged with Friday, which is what happened uh, Thursday, Friday. I said that we would, I predicted that we'd probably get a one leg down Monday, second leg down Tuesday, then a reverse back up. We did get one leg down today, Monday. One leg down, we dropped at least 350. We were down much more in the day. We settled 350 lower. Um, tomorrow I expect another drop somewhere between 1424 and 1421, where I'm going to be doing my buying. Uh, I would place my sell stops below 1414. So for tomorrow, you're going to buy March S&P at 14, anywhere between 1424 and a half and 1421 and a half. Put your stops below 1414 and hold on for the elevator ride back up. That's what I'm looking for. I'm not going to give a lot of recommendations during the month of December. It's a very volatile, thin month. So that's about it for this evening. Uh, you can find my recommendations posted at www.futuresanalysts.com. They're posted every evening there just about before midnight. You can email me at futuresanalysts at gmail.com. There's also a phone number if you want to call in. We can tailor analysis to just about any market or stock that you, can, that you would like to trade. So if you'd like, call us and we'll tailor some analysis for you. Good evening, trades.